Oh yeah, hello. This has been a very, very long time since we have been doing anything on this channel from streaming or making videos. I had a, a couple of rough patches in my life, uh, mainly due to health reasons. I got the COVID and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but I'm sort of fully recovered, finally. Um, and I haven't done nothing. Uh, I have not been sitting still in the meantime. So um, let's um, continue with our journey. Um, I'm gonna post uh, some stuff. Um, concept art in. Blender and Photoshop post. Um, already Blender, maybe. Blender help. Blah, 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 blah. Be sure to post them here. I'm promoting the, the stream. Let's learn Blender together. Post. All right. Um, ba -dum -pum -pum. Yeah, that's it, I think. Um, I hope my audio is, is correct. Uh, maybe I can check. Um, I will probably hear myself talking. You can't hear me because my audio is muted. I think everything is fine. Maybe I'm a little bit... Um, not very loud, but I think that's due to my audio settings. Let's see, volume mixer, yes, the sound of Chrome is very low and my uh, overall uh, overall sound settings are pretty low, so my voice should be fine, hopefully. And I'm not sure if there will be any viewers on this stream. Um, I'm not sure if that's a big deal. Um, there we go. Um, all right. All right. So I'm a little bit rusty, as you can, uh, as you might expect. Well, um, especially uh, for the, the 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 sort of presenting, talking thingy, me Jake uh, phase. Not really phase for uh, for uh, talking and explaining what I'm doing. Um, hope you don't mind. Um, so yeah, let's. Um, I guess let's just go uh, uh, go and start. Um, I probably should open a an image. Um, that's more of a reference. Hmm. Let's uh, let's change the canvas size. Um, first, I'm gonna do a couple of rough uh, sketches. Uh, let's expand it by fifty percent. And uh, oops, let's not do that. Let's do that in the background layer. Yes, there we go. All right, and then we can color pink this. So I made these uh, sketches of these uh, armored 
uh, personnel carriers. I was like, I, I did a scene in Blender. I, it was a little throne room thingy. If you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen it. And I think I posted it on, on the YouTube community page as well. And then I thought, yeah, I, I want to uh, continue my uh, journey in Blender. And then I was like, what what am I going to make? Um, because that's that's sort of the, the tough part in the beginning. You, you need to build up sort of your skill set to know what the tools, what tools to use, sort of to, to get experience. And um, you can follow all sorts of tutorials. I did. Uh, well, I, I, I actually only really follow one tutorial. I look for specific things now if I want to know how to do a missed pass or things like that. Um, I, I search it and then I... Uh, I search for specific things now and I'm not really following a step-by-step -step tutorial anymore um, but I was like I'm, I'm going to make a um, an armored personnel uh, carrier which I did um, it's not really finished it's still a little bit rough I wanted to do make it make it a concept art so um, I'm not doing any animation or anything in Blender. I make my models quite rough. Um, they're not really uh, meant for uh, animations, as I said before, or for film. Uh, they're really rough and uh, they're mainly for uh, for concept art. So I, uh, I created a couple of rough uh, sketches I didn't really follow any sketch in the end. I just grabbed an image. I think it was the GGI, GTA 5 uh, APC. There is an APC in the game. And I uh, put down that image. And I sort of followed the contours. And then from there, I just freeformed it out of my head. I, I sometimes looked at the reference. But mainly for the little things. The little hatches. The little uh, sort of periscopes sticking out. Um, stuff like that. There's a lot of detail going on on these uh, uh, little uh, things. If we if we open up a pure ref, load re recent. Look, I I've got a pure ref uh, board here. Can I drag it? Yeah, right click and drag. So as you can see, this is sort of the uh, the reference images that I uh, that I grabbed. Um, I, I modeled it after this one. I put this in Blender and then I extracted the shapes. Um, and as you can see, in the end, it, it looks quite different. But they're all little little things like smoke grenades, um, machine guns, sensors, uh, anti tank missiles machine guns every every carrier has something different look this one has a machine gun on top this one has more i think this is an uh, this is an israeli one i think this is an anti tank uh grenade uh launcher so when when an anti tank grenade is is launched at the vehicle this thing knocks it out of the air something like that um all these hatches periscopes and, and things there's a lot of detail as you can see there's even more a lot more detail on the things than i actually put in the model but I, I wasn't really finished with this one but i was like i can i can continue with that and add those little details and, and maybe i will do i kind of want to because i want to to finish a project but i want to take it to the next level what if instead of a wheeled vehicle it's more of a sci-fi vehicle so we still have the concept of this. Uh, so let, let's just copy one. Um, yeah, I, I like. Uh, let Let's just grab sort of the 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 first one we did. So we have a, a a bit of a clean base because first I made this one and then I copied it over and added details. Look, I added. It's a really rough sketch, of course. It did the, the anti. Uh, or not the, the smoke grenades, some some cameras and stuff like that. Uh, so let's just uh, modify this. So 
well we, we can keep that of course but but what if it is a, a flying one so a sort of a personnel carrier but for in space maybe or um or maybe it is not necessarily for in space for planet landings or something but it has the capabilities of of floating or whatever so i made this image a long a uh, long time ago of the a sort of a sci-fi fighter with those little i can i can actually open the image probably it's it's I maybe even put it in my uh, pure ref thingy majig. Let's see. Um, I don't even know where I put it. Um, oh. That's nice that you have an image that you painted and you don't remember where you put it. That's not good. Only sketches. Did I did I just put it in Wait, one second. This is not really going really smooth today, is it? Painting twenty point one concept art maybe? Recording. Um, yeah, that's the spider. Studying, no, 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 I should be able to find it somewhere. This is not good. Um, We don't want to study. Talk me back into painting. Was it 2022? That I made this image. I think it was last year. No, it, it was definitely last year. I can't find it. I'm gonna grab it from Instagram, <laughs> from my Instagram. Um, can I copy this? Oh, I can. I can screen grab it. I'm gonna screen grab it. There we go. I don't know where it is. I should reorganize my uh, my folders. Uh, let's put it in the pure ref uh, doc. Uh, and I, I will put it in Photoshop as well, so you can uh, so you can actually see it. And then let's create a new uh, new image. This image, I made that last year somewhere. I don't remember, but look, I, I had this, that, that idea of the, of those sort of anti gravity pads, or whatever, or engines, or any something like that. Um, and I was like, what if I put those? So if you, if we combine sort of th those ideas, so the, the idea of this sort of system to a vehicle like this but then with six or eight of these things and then we're gonna model it in blender and then uh, see if you can make a cool concept art out of it so i'm gonna make some rough sketches uh, i don't want to spend too much time in photoshop uh, we're gonna spend some time after we modeled it in, in blender but sort of there, there there are these sort of little pads of engines they did they, they, they. Uh, 
or they, they do a force field or uh, yeah maybe maybe some sort of glow glowy force field type thing and then these individual paths can can rotate uh, sort of um, so if you have if you have the front view let's make a really rough front view as you can see I'm, I'm really really rough with these sketches um, that's something I should do more because it's all about the IDs. Not necessary at this stage. It's not about a pretty picture. It's about creating a, a, a nice ID for your picture. So we have the the vehicle here, and then we have these uh, sort of pads that goes slightly to the side, and they can move like that that direction. So up and down. So it could move like to to there maybe, or maybe the. Maybe we make it so that this is the pivot point, so they go like that. Maybe maybe you should do this with a different color. Let's grab a uh, a red for that. So maybe this is the pivot point, and they can go like that. Uh, so this one as well. But they also have a pivot point to make them go like that or like that. So they can sort of pivot freely into all kinds of directions that's sort of the id and then we have to to get some nice detail maybe maybe some details of a uh, suspension or whatever we, we we want some nice details on that on this system or if we really want to be cheeky and we don't want to do some complex modeling we can position them in a way if we make the scene and position them in a way that the the stuff behind this is is not really visible but that's really maybe cool for a cool image what about spider legs yeah that's actually a, a nice a nice idea as well um we could try to sort of model different um if you really want to go complex or not really complex if you really want to go uh, go ham on it we could try to model different um, different uh, systems different suspension system is that suspension propulsion whatever it's a combination of the two it's a combination of suspension propulsion a mechanism a movement system so that it makes it move but for now I want to make it fly but if you want to make uh, a decent concept out, we have to work out how this system works. So maybe it has some, I don't know. We, it, it does not really have to work in a physical sense. So if, if we were to build it uh, in real life, we don't have to build it in real life because it's all imagination. But let's pretend that that this would be for a movie or a video game. But let's say it's for a movie. Then there will be scenes where these things are moving because it's flying and it has to adjust the direction and stuff like that. So you want to have a system where you can have moving parts. I'm actually going to bite off a lot more than I can chew here, I think. <laughs> because it's one thing to make a cool image in, 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 in Blender, which with less than one and a half month of experience, I can probably pull off a decent image. But you know what? Let's just... I think we're just going to jump in and, and see where we, where we go, where we go. Um, it's all about learning. So, um, I think I want to sort of get this base form. Um, so maybe I'm going to grab, we're going to save this image. We're going to grab this bit and crop it. And then I'm going to save this file, save as. Um, APC shape. 
gonna save it as a JPEG. So we can grab that in Blender, so we don't have to uh, worry about freeforming stuff like that. Hopefully my system can actually run everything. It, it should be able to run everything. Uh, we're not gonna render in cycles today because I don't want to blow up my computer. So yeah, let's go with a new one. Let's delete the cube and go in, get, grab an image, uh, a reference. Um, no. Let's see. I'm going to browse this. If I can find it. Um, that. That. I really should start reorganizing all my folders because it's one big mess. Um, I, I, or not necessarily, necessarily reorganize it, but I, I really have to figure out a system and stick to that system um, because it's getting out of hand. Um, let's delete it. Let's go to the front view and bring it in again. Reference, there we go. So now it's uh, oriented on the x axis. Um, I'm not really should I bother about scale? I'm not gonna bother about scale. Um, we don't really have to move it anyway. So there we go, we got that. Um, now we're gonna add a plane. That's the plane. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, yes. Do we make it a wireframe? This is still one of my uh, weak points, sort of um, starting with a, uh, a sort of a reference and then following that reference. Skill, nail, Z. I don't really see what I'm doing here. Maybe we should go. But as soon as we have the basic shape down, I'm 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 fine. Hopefully, um, let's go to this view. Not really doing a good job here. Scale it on the x axis. No, I want that. There we go. Let's let's start here. Wait, how complex do we want the shape to be? I could just make a box first and then start cutting in that box. That's probably the better idea. That's uh, still a, uh, a little challenge that I, that I face. Um, there are so many different ways to go about it. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine as well. You can just start with a cube and just scale the cube a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm also struggling with uh, no, not the Y scale Z. Uh, just sort of get started. It's it's all about preference, I guess. Uh, some people like uh, to start with a plane. Some people like to start with a cube. Um, I think I might actually like the cube a little bit better uh, because then you have a, a an object and you know, you can uh, start to uh, carve into that or add to the object. Um, like now, now we actually have just have a not necessarily a cube, but uh, let's call this the 
How do we call that? The chassis, the bulkhead, the vehicle. Let's just call it vehicle. Vehicle. Alright, I want to probably... I'm not necessarily going to follow that exactly. Let's make a loop cut. Control R. Somewhere over there. Because if you look at a reference image, this part is mostly flat and then it goes down. So we're going to uh, bevel this like that. And I probably, before I do that, I probably should auto merge vertices. So we're going to do it like that and I'm going to grab this. Or maybe we should make a loop cut there. Somewhere over there. Let's make it. As you can see, it's already starting to get wrong somehow because the loop cut doesn't go around. You know what? Let's do it slightly different. Let's make a loop cut there. No. Oops, wait. Let's make a loop cut there. And then we can grab that and pull it down. So that's a different way to do it. Uh, but in the end, this is probably the better way to do it. Grab Z. Something like that. And then um, we like this. We want a loop cut somewhere like that. Something like that. This shape is already a, a triangle, which may end up causing problems, but we'll see. I'm not going to bother with it too much yet. All right. Uh, there you go. As you can see... I did, a, did something wrong. Grab X. Grab along the axis. Axes. There we go. So we sort of have the basic shape down. I'm going to delete the, the image. And from now on, we're just going to do it. Um, from some reference images. I have the pure ref thing on the side. So every now and then I will look at it and uh, see if it looks anything like uh, it should. Um, this is gonna cause problems later on. This, this front, can I sort of fix it? Adding a bevel. Not sure if I'm gonna make it everything worse this way. Um, that's le definitely something I should uh, work on. Is um, no, let's not do that. Why are there two vertices there? Didn't I tell them to join? You know what? That's actually not too bad. Let's grab that other one as well and move them along the z-axis. So like that. And then we're gonna put the knife. Use the knife too. There we go. Z. 
There we go. axes and then we're gonna grab the knife tool and we're gonna cut that there we go that's better and then we can grab that edge and move it down a little bit do we have a loop yeah sort of if we bevel this how will that look? That's actually fairly decent. I think. Um, we could delete this edge. And then this If you delete the edge, what happens? And then I think triangles is not too bad yet. Let's not worry about it too much. As long as we are not going over four, which we actually are. We have five here. Z. Now Z go and here as well. And let's move this edge from the no grab. Oh wait. Grab along the X axis. Maybe we should just grab this one. Mm. So we kind of fixed it. Let's move this plane. There we go. Not great. Um, scale like that. Yes. And no, we don't necessarily. Need There we go. It it it's kind of looking all right, I guess. Um, it took us long enough. <laughs> so is that sort of a decent basic shape? I think it is. Let's grab the uh, the reference images. Yeah. It, It goes a little bit further down because of the wheels, and we need a attachment point for the uh, for the flight system. So we might as well grab um, th 
this, extrude it. Um, grab this, uh, move it over. And let's grab this and move it all the other side. And let's scale this. For now, maybe we can uh, put a little engine in the back or something. All right. There's that. There is going to come someone at the door soon. But that's like two minutes of work. Is that a striker? Is that uh, something? Wait, do I remember where that is from? No, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, that's not all right. Let's go into, can I, yes, I need this view. Knife to there, knife to troop carrier. Yeah, it is uh, It is meant to be a, a troop carrier. And then armored, uh, so the, 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 uh, the inspiration here is, uh, is a armored personnel carrier. So, um, and I think a lot of sci fi probably takes inspiration from, uh, from actual, uh, real world, uh, vehicles. Um, grab this along the x axis. Oh, we wanted to make an engine here, maybe, but I also want a sort of a hatch for the for the troops to go in. I'm still not sure about the scale of this thing. Uh, we probably ought to bring in a human model at some point to figure out what the scale is. Is it does it fit like uh, ten people or uh, twenty or thirty or fifty? Um, but usually, like the the APCs. Carry, I don't know. Up to do ten people, maybe. Depends a little bit how big they are, but um, but we can change that, of course. We don't have to uh, abide by the rules of uh, the land uh, thingy majigs. So we could make a big hatch, uh, maybe like uh, maybe make it uh, Chinook uh, size, sort of like that. Then a Chinook can carry like 30, 40 people, right? At least, I don't exactly know. Um, all right, so we need some systems here. I think we're gonna model them separately. Is there anything else I want to do? I think I got the basic shape down. Um, there may be some cleanup to do. Let's mirror it along the X axis. There we go. So if we delete this edge, wait, why are you not mirror mirroring it? Oh, wait, I have to bring this. Uh, kind of know what I need to do I think set origin origin to geometry so then that's in the middle and then how can I set that 
Do I click there or no? Or does it um, does it not use the cursor? Does it just use the the origin? I think it might do. All right, set origin to geometry. Oops, set origin to geometry. Now, if I go in edit mode and put mirror, stupid cursor, I need to grab the right button. Now, if I grab this, no, wait, what? Someone is calling me. One second. All right, somebody is coming to pick something up. So uh, I guess I'm just gonna take a short break. I needed to br take a break. No, not, not yet. So I'm gonna put on this really cool break screen. <laughs> and then um, I'll be back in like five, maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna grab a coffee as well. And uh, I will be back soon.
and back. Let's see, let's uh, remove this little screen. There we go. Excuse me. Um, wait a second. Where's my... I closed my um, wait. Thanks. Everything should be fine. I cl I closed my dashboard, <laughs> so I was like, well, "What?" Uh, now YouTube is saying there is not enough video, but. My OBS says zero frame drops. More more than four and a half K bits per second. So I don't know. I don't know YouTube. I don't know what you're going on about. Alright, let's continue. Um I kinda wanna build a uh, it's not really yeah, it's it's relevant for me. I need I need to have this image in my head of this dropship or whatever it is that's sort of landing somewhere and then uh, soldiers get out. So I might go and try to find an HDR and put it in to sort of set the scene because I'm not really good at just plainly modeling something. I I need to have that. I I need to create a story. So uh, to create that. I'm going to get an HDR Polyhaven does have HDRs or a desert desert landscape I could also just grab an image does it have to be a desert um, not necessarily, but I like this image. Can we download it? It's reasonably big. APCs vehicles. Let's uh, make a new folder. Solid file APC um, images and save it. And we should save this as well. Save. And save an APC. Just save file APC. Save Blender file. All right, let's uh, put in that image. Image. Images planes. Boom. And then let's go to rendered view. Rotate 90 degrees along the Z axis. There we go. Scale it like really big. Grab it and get it to the Y. No. Wait. Um. Why is it moving? Grab Z. Grab. No, it's doing it correct now. All right, never mind. So we need to have this sort of image. Do we go from the bottom or uh, something like that? Um. something like that we need to have the camera 
can scale it up a little bit more. I can also bring it closer. Something like that. Grab X. And then grab the camera, control shift zero. We could do it again. Uh, control shift zero. Wait, no, what? Wait. Maybe go from, from the top a little bit. Grab move it along the no camera grab move it along the x axis a little bit and then make it more of a wide shot uh, camera lens let's make it a thirty five mil. sure yet grab y grab x Maybe we do it more like this. Camera. Let's just. Oh boy! <laughs> we have a big shadow on our on our background. Oh crap! That's not good. Um. Oh, we can fix that. Is it almost touching it? Yes, it is. Uh, we can grab that and move it along the Y a little bit. How about now? It's better. Uh, the light, we need to move the light, grab over there and grab. How about now? Yes, sort of. The thing is, we don't have any shadow of this thingy magic on this plane. Um, which there should be, because light is coming from there and then there should be some sort of shadow here but we can we can maybe we can uh do that grab that go y grab x maybe i should um go in here go to rendered look go to the light grab it See, that's the problem. It casts a shadow on that, uh, on that backdrop. Um, which I don't want. So we could grab this, move it over there so there is no shadow on the backdrop. Um,
Hmm. But we kind of want it to be sort of evenly lit. I'm going to do something stupid. I don't know, I, I will spend a lot of time uh, working with lights and stuff like that, but I, f I feel like light is a, is really important uh, to, to get right. So, area light. So what if we get the biggest area light we can get? Scale it along the X axis. Like that, scale it on the Y. No, not on the Y, on the Z. And then grab it, put it like really close. Pump it up, like 500 watt, boom. There we go. Scale it. Real big. Grab it on the X. Like a big softbox. So if you turn it off. But what about now? Yeah, it's better actually. Alright, now we still need to get that shadow there. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really messing this up. Um, how to manipulate rel, uh, Blender. Grab Z. Uh, this can be reasonably high, right? I want some light. I want this to be reasonably well lit but we can of course there's gonna be some all sorts of light effects all right let's get a shadow there so add let's just get it plain grab it move it there uh, shift D duplicate it Divide, uh, another subdivide, maybe, and then subsurf modifier. There we go. The thing is, we can see it. We don't want to see. We don't want to see it. So we need to grab it, move it over, move it out of view, rotate it like on the x-axis maybe something like that grab that light to view this from the camera. Uh, rotate it along the X. Grab. Grab X. Grab Y. Z. It's still not too 
good. But something like this should do. Maybe uh, add some uh, 2,000 watts. Ooh, boy. boy. Z. This is way too big. Oh no, we also get a shadow from that. I don't want that. So we want like fifteen hundred, maybe? No, thousand. A thousand, but we need let's grab this viewport display and crank it up for now <laughs> so we can actually see where we can put this shadow without it being in the viewport display. Um, I feel like I'm spending way too much time on this. Yeah, it's, it's in there. Wait, where is my shadow? Oh wait, I turned it down to 100. It needs, it needs to be at least 500. Grab. This can actually be quite small. Something like that. Yeah, maybe even a little bit smaller. It's not too bad if the shadow hits the clouds. Grab Z. So if that shadow hits the clouds, it's okay. Just have to move this down here. Let's view it from the camera. And then grab this move it up something like that I feel like I spent way too much time uh, working on that um, so let's uh, let's continue it wasn't really necessary I feel um maybe hide this uh let's set the viewport 2.5 no one meter is, is, is good all right we have this let's get my pure rev all right, I'm gonna add uh, sort of these uh, these little pads. All right, it's it's time to start modeling actually because it's it's taking way too long. Sorry for that. A cylinder, scale to Z, scale like that. How big do I want these to be? I think about that. Let's rotate it 90 degrees along the x axis. So if you had wheels, they would be like this big, maybe. Yeah, I feel like this is a good size. Maybe, maybe make them a little bit bigger. Something like that. All right. Let's hide everything. Except the cylinders. All right. 
let's rotate it 90 degrees again. Edit mode. I'm gonna delete that face and delete that face. No, not edges, only face. Delete face. Only faces. All right. Then we're going to add a solidify modifier. Use it. Solidify, and we're gonna make it like. 0 0.05 0 0.08 and apply oh we're still in edit mode so we cannot apply it and then we're going to add a bevel to the outer No, wait, let's let's scale that like so. I'm going to add a bevel. Hit the bevel too. Sometimes um, absolute. Wait, what? Percent and you know what? Let's not add a bevel. I have another ID. Can we? Yes, create a loop cut. There we go. And we can grab this, move it along the Z, and scale it a tiny bit. There we go. That's sort of a bevel as well. And let's do the same here. Loop cut. Grab that. Grab on the axis there we go all right that is sort of the outer ring there is one problem <laughs> in my modeling skills I have only modeled sort of solid objects and not very complex shapes as in, how do I explain it? This landing or this, this little pad thing is going to go, going to be a lot of parts. And at this point, I probably should move that to a collection. Let's do that new collection. And we're gonna call it landing gear. No propulsion. Propulsion. Let's try to do that. And then we're gonna call this outer ring. I'm gonna duplicate that. Shift D. Scale. Scale it down. Grab Z. Like that, and we call that wait, is it centered? It should be. Uh, we should shade this smooth. Do we want to shade it smooth? Maybe not. I don't think so for now. Uh, and then we call this inner ring. There we go. I think it's all about. A good naming scheme and if we duplicate it again rotate it 180 degrees on the x axis scale it 
scale it on the Z. Look at that. You got a little thing propulsion apparatus. Uh, exhaust. Is it exhaust or? I don't know. Who cares? And then. Can we grab this? And then we can grab it do an instance of these. There we go. So maybe we will just model it and then use instances in the scene. Yes, I think that's what we do. Because wait, let me let me check this. Let's uh old age and hide everything. Let's grab this and move it along the x axis. So out of the scene, there we go. What if we say we put a instance to the scene, grab it. Oh, wait. It uses the origin point from the cursor, right? Let's put the cursor there. Um, instance to scene, grab. Wait, set origin, origin ge geometry. Oh yeah, that's not no biggie. All right, so we have this uh, this geometry, G Y. G Y. All right, we have that geometry. If I now go into my propulsion and add a sphere, let's say, no, not a circle. E oh, it! I saw it. it. I saw it. I saw it happen. A UV sphere. Grab it. Scale it. Grab it. Grab it. So basically, every addition that I make is going to end up there. Cool. That's what I needed to know. Because then we can just model this on the side and then use instances everywhere and then uh, if we want to add some details to the instance or to the to the propulsion then um, yeah I don't know how to say it we can just uh, do it in the collection all right so Let's start. Can I can I add a no I cannot add modifiers to that. That's fine though. Grab uh, rotate. Let's put it like that. Grab. No, let's rotate it. Let's say we do it like this. All right, and we do an instance to the scene. Grab it over there. Grab it over there. Let's rotate this one and just like that. 
and we probably should make a system where they are connected and then do another instance to see grab rotate grab rotate along the Z something like that there we go um, there's one slight problem because the light there and there's gonna be all these shadows I'm not sure if that's a problem we'll see in the future um, and of course we need to repeat those for the uh, what if I duplicate this I can't duplicate that right this is to see Grab, put it there, rotate it there. Along the Z, like that. Grab. Kind of have to make sure that they're sort of in the same position. Maybe I'm going way ahead of myself here by adding all these already to the model. Um, but That. Rotate along the Z. Grab it. Now, sort of the rotation are kind of mirrored, um, but we'll sort of fix that. There we go. That's a nice enough looking scene. Um, And maybe we will uh, render a single one of these and put them put it over there, for instance, from the back, where you can actually see people moving. But that's sort of future plans. <laughs> All right, so we we got those uh, those th things. Um, of course, they're still really really rudimentary. Um, But yeah, it is something. Maybe add the origin here. All right, the add from the propulsion thing. All right, add mesh let's add a cylinder let's scale it down scale the z especially um, grab it Suspension system. Let's let's add, let's look at some uh, 
images from suspensions. It's not that we're going to build a suspension, but it can help us to get some inspiration. I feel. Maybe we will, let's do a material for this one, uh, a new material. Let's do the base color, a kind of an icy blue. Subsurf, I don't think we're gonna go for the subsurface, but emission, let's do the emission as well and give it an emission strength of let's say 20. Let's see how that looks. It looks really weird now. Um, Maybe we give it the same. All right. Edit mode. Let's delete that. Faces. Delete faces. Let's give it a solidify modifier. Let's give it like 1.05. All right. And then I kind of want to build an array, but instead of it repeating, I want it to get smaller. I'm not sure if that works, if you know what I mean. It's the build modifier. Screw. That's more like a. Uh, ooh, that looks kind of cool. Wait a second, let me do 90 degrees. Nope, 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 nope. Um, let's just duplicate it, scale it down. Duplicate it, scale it down. Duplicate it, scale it down. Something like that. How about now? That's actually better. That's actually a lot better. Uh, but then we have to add sort of a, a cap on top. So shift a, a cylinder scale. Scale mainly the Z. Grab it. Scale. Grab it on the Y. Grab it on the Z.
Yeah, something like that. And we can make that dark or whatever. All right, that's that. Um, there probably should be some sort of hooks connecting all these. If you really want to go out of a way of, of making this really cool. We could rotate this along the Y. Or like a couple of degrees and rotate that one on the axis. axis and that one on the, let's say the Y again. And this is... The problem is they all got the same rotation then. Um, there's probably something we could do with geometry nodes to sort of make it um, kind of procedural. But I think I like that slight variation so you can see that it is sort of able to to move those individually all right now i'm gonna add some uh nope point there we go some hooks or something to to connect all these all right so let's add a cube i guess uh point five no Point two, no. Point, point five. There we go. Scale Z. Shift H. Tap Edit Node. All right. Let's grab that. Move it over. No, not the X, the Y. Something like that. Extrude it. Extrude it. Um, wait, this is not a loop. Just add some random uh, details. Uh, we could extrude it. Um, oops. Point point oh eight, for instance. Then we can do that one as well, and then we say point oh eight. So they are exactly the same. It's not really necessary, but. Uh, bevel. You know what, let's bevel them at the same time. Here. All right. I think uh, I'm gonna extrude that one a little bit. And give it a tiny bevel. All right. So old edge. Oh wait, old edge. There we have this little uh, thingy, my jig. Um, I still 
think we can make it better. There we go. And there we go. And a loop cut. And a loop cut. And then extrude that. Extrude that. There we go, that's a decently complex looking shape. Um, old age. All right. Grab it, put it somewhere. Wait, if we rotate it 180 degrees, grab it. If we do this at a zero and that at a zero and that at three sixty, all right, that's better. Grab V. Now I want this array to wait, I can't do that in edit mode, right? If I select all, this is object mode, edit mode, okay. drag and select. Why isn't it selecting? Wait, what? Normal x ray. them. What if we spin it around like that? But instead, we want this to be ugh, three D cursor. How can we put the three D cursor at the at the origin point. Geometry, origin, geometry, origin to 3D cursor. Can I do it the other way around? Set the 3D cursor to the origin. That's, that's Google. Google is your best friend. Set cursor, loops sir, to origin blender. Some selected.
so cool and all, but I want this 3D cursor to be at the origin. Stupid thing. Tool. Wait, cursor to select. Ah, there we go. I found it. I found it. All right. Now, we can go back. As you can see, this is going to take a long time. Crap. Can I? Nope. All right. She does. Cursor to select it. All right. Now we grab that, we go to edit mode. We go to 360. The point is we have an extra copy which we don't need. Uh, it's 12, isn't that a little bit much? Maybe, maybe not. Um, Yeah, I'm not. I'm not good at using all the tools yet, as you can see. I'm still struggling a lot, but we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see. I want to. I think I want to have twelve. That's okay. Or eleven. I should set it to eleven then. And then instead, I should not do it three sixty, but. I should add my, do my calculator. The problem is this is wait. I'm genius. No. Three sixty divided by. 12 times 11 is that genius or not because then we don't have a dupl duplicate uh, thingy so we don't need a calculator. We can just calculate it in the uh, in the things in the in the fields of Blender. All right, there we go. We got that going. I was actually planning on on putting these on the outside, but hey, um, I'm actually going to reset all these uh, rotations. One eighty. Think, and this should be zero. So we're gonna we're gonna add some stuff around this, and I think can we sort of oh right cursor to uh, a grid. There we go. Yeah. Um. I think I need to join these. Wait. Yes, so if I rotate this done, it's all the uh, all the stuff. All right, but let's not do that just yet. No, I have them separate. All right. Um, I should have duplicated it. You know what? We'll we'll create a new uh, thing in the chick. It's no pro it's no problem. Uh, join is just J. Control J. 
All right. So if you rotate this now, all the stuff rotates with it. I'm going to do that with all the uh, little things. We're going to add all these little greebles and then they will they will move with the rotations that we give them. All right, let's do another one. Let's add a mesh cube. Oops, where is it? Oh wait, it's here in the middle. I'm going to grab it, move it a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm going to make it even smaller. There we go. Grab that along the z-axis. Grab it along the y. There we go. All right. Extrude. Extrude. Um, extrude. Grab. Y. Like that. And then. Something like that. I'm gonna go in and go for all the edges. Shift, 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 select. And we're gonna control B them. Oops. Wait, what? This is actually cool. Not sure if that would be good geometry, but <laughs> uh, bevel them like that. Something like that. There we go. Um, I kind of feel like we need sort of an end cap there and there as well. There we go. Extrude. Like this as well. No, 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 wait. Point zero zero five. Oops, there we go. Um, do we bevel it? I think it's so small that. Uh, you know what? Let's let's bevel it. I like bevels. In case you've not noticed. Let's not do it like that. Let's select the edges. Does it go all the way around? No. Let's just bevel these edges. Um, these as well. Alt. Shift Alt. Shift Alt. Control B. All right. Maybe some asymmetry m might be nice. Adding something like that. Grabbing that along the Y. Something like that. And maybe we do it on the bottom one. Extrude a bit. Grab it, Y. Like that. a neat little thing, right? And then we grab it. May I have to scale it a little bit. Grab it. Look, it doesn't fit at all. Um, scale it. Is that a problem? 
problem. I could rotate it. I don't really want to. I think I'm just going to extrude a bit that just goes there. So we're going to go in edit mode. Grab that edge, extrude it until it goes inside. There we go. And then we're going to bevel the edges again because I want to kill my PC by adding a lot of vertices. No, control B. I feel like the the bevel tool is really annoying to control with that setting. Is this it just has to do right? All right, that's 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 fine. There we go. Look at that. And then we're gonna yes, and then snap cursor to select it. Boom. And then we're gonna select that. And then we're gonna go in edit mode. Gonna select all of it. And then stay in edit mode and then we're going to spin it along that and we're gonna spin it with 330 degrees do we go for the same amount of segments yeah why not and then we go out of edit mode and then we're gonna select these and we're gonna press ctrl J oh so happy. The problem is there's one problem. What if I'm going to texture this? It's all going to be the same texture then, right? I can't. So let's not join these two. Don't really care about the exhaust. I think I'm we're gonna make that the same texture anyway. But I think I'm gonna keep these separate. There should be a way to to. There is probably a way to individually texture the ring and uh, and uh, little thingies. But um, I don't know how that works yet. So I like to render it every now and then. Um. I feel like they're really big, these sort of the, the pads or the, the thingies. And I don't really like the orientation at this point not really very interesting they're all sort of as you can see they're all wait let's go to this view they're all sort of the same distance apart so let's grab this move it along the y no x let's move that a little bit further forward uh, something like that I think this should be better already yeah, that's way more interesting. It's just a, t a tiny adjustment, and it, it looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, the, the, the backside is still uh, empty, so we need to uh, to add stuff. And we also need to add a lot of detail on the vehicle itself, of course. And then we need to texture it, and render it, and then do some stuff in Photoshop, probably. Um, but I, I'm, I'm having fun. 
I'm still not entirely sure about the shape of the thingy yet. I probably will add a little cockpit of some sort, maybe here at the front, maybe here uh, there, uh, a little hanging cockpit, both uh, uh, a hanging cockpit on the undercarriage here, and maybe one up here. So they, so there's a little spotter who can uh, check the ground, but that doesn't really make sense. I probably just need a camera setup or something. <laughs> You can do everything with cameras, of course. Um, I'd like this edge to be beveled. This edge as well. The thing just looks off now because the these things are reasonably well detailed compared to the rest. So, um, yeah. I wonder how I'm going to join this to the to the ship. I shouldn't think too much. I should just start modeling, I guess. And uh, solve it on the way there. Alright, so we want some sort of arm. I think I want it to re be really compact. Uh, if you check a car suspension for instance we have a nice I image here it's all uh, loose parts and stuff like that which is fine but let's say this is a combat vehicle you want it to be as sturdy as possible so you want to have a lot of stuff internally with armor uh, over it so to say to, pro to you want to the stuff to be protected by armor I think I mean, I'm no military expert but I assume that you don't want it to get shot to pieces so it's a lot easier to to shoot to 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 tear these things apart than when it's sort of internally in in some sort of housing. So we could really go with uh, we could d just do it really simple with a, a sort of a cube or a a cylinder on top and say you know what that's the arm where all the stuff is in. But I think we want to have a semi open design. So we're gonna model it as if there is some sort of suspension type system because you probably want some dampening in these these pads as well let's say they they put out thrust as soon as you sort of hit the surface you want to you, you don't want to be shaken apart by that stuff um let's add let's let's model a spring because i want to uh try the uh, the screw uh, thingy a cylinder and scale it down grab scale it way down rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis that's fine um, scale it on the Z, no, on the X it is now, of course, no, on the Y, there we go, uh, something like that, all right, let's play around with modify this, screw, um, It's not working the way I think it is working. <laughs> um, it is just spinning the spinning the mesh, as you can see. Um, let's lower the iterations steps can we do no wait how do you make a how
I want to understand this. Let's add a cube. Scale it up. Um, think. Add modifier. The screw modifier. So it is. Let's. Let's go to zero degrees. Let's go to. So it's sort of grabbing the wireframe. Point one meter. Let's make it three sixty. Let's say 20 degrees. I don't really understand what's going on here. I may need to watch a tutorial or uh, model a spring in Blender. How to create a spring in Blender. I'm doing something wrong. Wait, I think I, I, I watched like um, I think circle, grab, um, is it solidify? No. Bevel? No. I should go back to the <laughs> to the tutorial. Let's go into this view add circle. Rotate 90 degrees along the x-axis. Scale it down. Lock. Grab. Scale. Oh, scale down. Yeah, this should be it. Add modifier. Screw. Wait, what? Set it to Y. 
Don't screw. The thing is, it's it's just rotating the circle instead of making a path. Hmm. Wait, there's a circle. Does it screw? Wait. Set snap. Set to selected. And then grab X. How about now? Look, now it's doing something. You see? It needs an object or an empty to screw around. <laughs> that sounded really bad. To screw around. Um, all right, I, I understand now. So add an empty. All right. Now we can add modifier screw axis object where is the empty it is the empty there we go there we have it and then we can do like two or three iterations and then there we go we did it we made a spring Feels good. Uh, the problem is, I probably want a spring, something like that. Oh, oh, that's actually cool. We sort of scale it the way we want it, and then add some iterations. I think this is a cool looking screw or spring maybe a little bit less so we're gonna call this spring maybe spring one all right now we're gonna apply that we can grab the M we can remove the empty right we don't need it all right look at that We got a spring. We grab it, put it there. Um, and it's way too big, of course, but hey. We got one part. Maybe duplicate it. Shift D. So we got two springs. Um. that on the side maybe rotate them something like that I want them to be quite big but
This one problem. Hmm. Second problem. I want these pad thingies to rotate sort of freely around a pivot point over there somewhere. But I don't... If I add these to this collection, the springs are rotated with the pads, which is going to look really, really weird. You can't even see them. Wait, are there actually... Let's grab them and put them... This one is even upside down. You see? But yeah, let's uh, let's put it over there. Are they in the scene? Yes, they are. Anyway, I want to move. I want to delete one. Grab this, move it over there. Where is it? I want to remove it from the re the propulsion and put it in its own collection because I I think I want the the pads can move individually, independent from the uh, from the rest of the from these little pads, or at least they should. So I think I'm gonna add something like a, maybe an icosphere. So that's sort of the bowl joint where everything attaches to. Oh, there's probably a much quicker ways to do this. And then we're gonna model a rudimentary suspension system. Where we gonna uh, add the stuff on? Okay, we're gonna make a new collection out of this. Where is the? To collection three, this is suspension. All right, shift D, grab X. There we go. And then we need sort of a, uh, a cylinder going through a mesh. You know what? Let's model one and then copy them. Mesh cylinder scale. Can we hide? There we go. Cool. How much is this rotated? One hundred one eighteen. Um, let me calculate now. Oh, that's way too complicated to calculate. I'm not going to do that. We need some sort of bracket on the top and bottom side. Sort of, and this one goes down, and there the ball, there the the joint is. 
right let's add a plane let's scale it down grab it rotate it grab it rotate it really good scale it down like so Let's set this to minus 10 and this one to 10. I hope the, the size is sort of correct. But something like that, edit mode, extrude that. There we go, boom. Scale it a bit. Let's delete that one. Add it mode, add a loop cut. But there. There. Alt scale. Something like that. Add another loop cut. Oop, over there. Uh, let's cut it over there. Oops. Extrude, no, not the extrude, the scale, real big. Yes. And then we select the edges, grab, run the Z. Z. No, not the Z. Double, double tap G. That's what we want. And then grab that edge loop. And grab that. There we go. Sort of a a a a stop gap to the to the spring. Uh, we should model something like that at the bottom as well. So a loop cut all the way down to the bottom over there, and then another one there, another one 
there. There. Scale. As you can see, the, 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 the sort of the shock or whatever it is is not really rotated correctly compared to the spring, but that's 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 okay. That's not too big of a deal. Let's do it like that. Uh, oh. I have an ID. Three. Alt. Select. Check or deselect. Extrude. Look at that. Free detail. Not free. Ooh, the sun is shining in my face. I still need a curtain. Um, same goes for here. Can we not select? Yes. Scale. Select, check or deselect, extrude. Do the edges still work? No. Uh, let's ah, let's not bother with bevels. All right, I kind of like that I that design. Hopefully it's not too big, but we can we can scale the entire thing down, of course, if you want to. All right, shift duplicate X, and instead of minus ten, it's going to be ten degrees. And move along. Like so there we go. It's not duplicated yet, I'm not done. Edit mode, extrude that. Add a mesh, plane, scale. Duplicate that anyway. Yes, something like that. All right, then we can actually see what we're doing. Alright, 
edit mode, extrude. bit extrude a lot and then grab that that scale Plane, the fish, I mean, and then is there a way to? Well, you know what? Let's select the vertices, select, 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 face. Face. It's probably not the best way to add a hole. There we go. And now we want to. We can. Uh, wait. Where is it going? Oh wait, we need uh, to do it with edges. We don't really want to bother with too much with, um, with changing stuff. I think I want some baffles though. Um, alt, shift, alt, shift, alt. Control B. That's a, a nice bevel. That's clean. There we go. We're gonna save that. And this is all. Wait. These are. To move in the suspension thing. Now the propulsion is ready as well. Um, you know what? Let's add an instance to the scene. Uh, snap cursor to select it. Insist to see no not the propulsion the suspension. Why is it so far away? Is it because it grabs the origin? Origin, origin to geometry, and what do we get now? Yes. No. Geometry. There we go. That's better. All right. I think the suspension is way too big. Yes, it is. 
So we're going to have to scale it. But maybe... If we scale the original, the instance. Scale it. Something like that. That's probably a good scale. Objects, grab, move them out of the way. Add instance to scene, set origin to geometry. There we go. And that way we can. sort of set the suspension up and then grab this and move it to sort of the the right point I feel like that's way hmm it's a little bit too far out I feel but what time is it? How long have I been streaming for? For a very long time. By the way, I didn't prepare anything for this stream. Um, so, um, if it's a bit uh, rambly and um, not really well thought out, well, that's because there's no preparation whatsoever um, I feel like there should be another point of uh, connection another connection point if you know what I mean maybe maybe align that up with that hole there that goes towards the to this side of the hull. So we got we're gonna make two for the front, and then maybe make a different variant uh, for the side. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with armatures and connecting all that stuff. I'm just gonna manually set it up um, <coughs> because I d I don't want to animate it or anything. So. Um, if you want to animate movements and stuff like that, then of course you're gonna make an armature. Um, can I duplicate that? Is this does this mean that if I uh, add something in the? Uh, probably yes. Yeah, because it's a duplication of an instance. All right, we're gonna duplicate this. Should D move it along the x-axis? Move it to about there, and we're going to duplicate it again. All right, and then we're going to duplicate all these. No. Grab Y them there and then rotate them is that 90 degrees on the x-axis no oh, does 
never really work that way. All right, Shift D on the Y. What is the rotation here? Minus 28.9. So we're going to go 28.9. Yes, then it's straight up because then we cancel out that and then we have to add another 28.9 plus 28.9. There we go. I accidentally hit my record button. Um, and then we're going to line it up. Almost sort of. It's like one square and a bit. Yeah, it sort of lines up there, right? So then we're going to go to view number one. And we're going to shift D, long X. Then there and then shift D along the X and then there. There we go. And what if we were to grab these put them sort of in there? Just quite loose. Uh, I'm going to see how that looks. About that. Moving stuff in 3D space is always interesting. Wait, what? What are you doing? Like that. Yeah, it would definitely be cool if you had some sort of additional suspension things. And now that the rotation is, is mirrored sort of on both sides almost. So we're gonna we're gonna do something else. We're gonna have a, for instance uh, rotate this on the x axis and make it something like that. It does actually look quite cool. With with a lot of with some more detailing, maybe some sort of armor plating around it, sort of screens. <coughs> um and a lot more detail on the on the actual uh, carrier itself. I think we are onto something. Yeah, it definitely needs a lot more detail because now it's just six of these highly detailed things with a blob on top of it, um, which I don't like. Problem is, I need to end the stream within the next, like, thirty minutes or so. So I'm not necessarily very happy about because I'm not enjoying myself so much. Uh, maybe I will do a, a, a lunch break and then continue a little bit further. Oh, nice. We have the icosphere popping right through here. Um, which is not terrible, I guess. Um, yeah, 
with with some weapon systems and 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 stuff it's gonna look cool uh we still need some sort of uh rod type thing um i think we need to make it different for the sides here and the front but because the front i think i want to go diagonally and those i just want to go in a 90 degree angle so yeah let's just quickly model that um let's go to the normal collection add the cube scale it on the x scale it further Control B. There we go. What if we were to extrude that like and the same goes for here? Point zero one extrude. Zero one extrude point zero one no point zero one not zero point one um is that my phone? No. I don't know what that was. Someone was sounding a horn, I guess. Um, like a nice little bevel. Let's just grab this for a second. Duplicate it. Let's not put it in a collection or anything because we don't need that. Um, grab it, move it over here. It's really big. But that's okay. We're going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees on the Z. And then we're going to rotate it a little bit more on the Z. And it should be somewhere over there. I'm going to scale it. Let's hide this. So now it's connected to there. Let's rotate it on the X axis. A bit like that. Rotate it a little bit further. Like that. No, just do it like that. Hold H. Shift D. Um, we just need to flip it. No. Actually, need to mirror it.
what if he put everything at zero? And No. Hide, 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 hide. Grab Z. Grab Y. Just make it a little bit higher. And rotate X. Alt H, wait. Why does Alt H not work? Wait, did I delete it off? Wait, what? Oh no. I think I deleted it. Hide, hide, hide. Grab like that. Rotate X. It's one point seven minus one point seven eight. Grab Z something like that. That looks sort of okay, right? Grab Something like that. Right, old age. Still not sure about the little ball there, but we can we can change that into something better if we want to. Uh, it's it's not really visible, but hey. <laughs> kind of want it to be there. Yeah, I definitely should um, go on a break. You know what? I'm going to put the break window up. I'm going to grab me some food. And after that, I will be back for like another half an hour, maybe three quarters of an hour. I really like it. The the working, um, I have to say, I work a lot slower when I have to comment as well. I think I could have shaved off like half an hour at least if I didn't do that, but that's okay. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. There's a lot to do, to be done. Anyway, I'll see you next. Uh, I'll see you in a bit.
Unfortunately, I have to end the stream. Um, I think I'm going to be streaming next week as well. I'm going to try to do my best to... Not work on this piece and work on other pieces so we can uh, stream the entire process of this one. I think that would be a good idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we're back in the YouTube journey, which um, is good. It's probably going to take some time before we get some momentum again. But uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. I really, I, I, I really start to enjoy Blender. It, um, yeah, I, I, it took me a long time before I decided to to go with it to to actually follow a tutorial. I did, and I'm glad I did. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll be back next week. I don't think there will be a video tomorrow. Maybe I can whip something up, but I don't really have anything, so probably not, unfortunately. Maybe I can stream a little bit, but who knows. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.